guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra 2, Unit 7, Review, Video Number 2. We are now on problem number 13. And let's make that look like a 13. So, we've got y equals 3y plus 7 equal to 0. Now, two things that you're going to start noticing here is now it says to solve and now we have an equal sign. So once we do that, that's when we take everything that has a y. So I have a y out here and a y out here. So however many y's we have, I'm going to take whatever is connected to it and we're going to set it equal to zero. Okay? So the one in the green is nice because it's already done for us. Y equals zero. But now we have to solve. Okay? So you can draw the line down the middle. We subtract seven to both sides. We get three y equals negative seven. Divide by three. And so our final answer would be y equals negative seven over three, comma, zero. Those are our two answers. All right, 14. 14 is 2x cubed minus 18x equals 0. Now, you can't just be like, hey, look, it's a cube root. I'm going to go all like that. You can't do that. Okay? And the reason, whoop, go back, is because there's a GCF. Okay? You can divide and factor a 2x out. And then when you do that, you get x squared minus 9 equals 0. Well, now x squared minus 9, that's subtraction quadratic. That's the difference of two squares. Okay? And then we get x plus 3, x minus 3 equals 0. And now everything with an x we're going to set equal to 0. So 2x equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. And so we get the answer x equals 0, x equals negative 3, and x equals positive 3. And when you see that on the test, it's going to list it in order from least to greatest. Okay. So we're still solving. We got problem 15. 16 minus 2x equals 9x squared plus 7x minus 2. Okay? Now, we need to look for the GCF, which is the 9x squared. It's positive, so I'm going to move all this other stuff to the other side. Okay? And all of those cancel. Because when we're solving, we want one side equal to 0. So we get 9x squared plus 9x minus 18. Okay. Well, what do we do? There's a GCF. Okay. So we are going to take the GCF out. And we get 0 equals 9, and we're left with x squared plus x minus 2. So we need numbers that add up to get to positive 1, but multiply to get to negative 2. Well, the only numbers that we can use because they multiply to 2 are 1 and 2. But one of them has to be negative. So we have x squared minus 1x plus 2x minus 2. And that's what you have to factor, okay? 
You can do that by either the box method or by splitting the middle term. I'm going to do the box. The GCF at the top. X of the bottom. Positive 2. Of the left. the right. My leading coefficient is negative, so it's negative. And there we get x plus 2, x minus 1. We set each one of those equal to 0. That has an x. There were two of them. And that's where we get the answers of x equals 2 and 1. Number 16. Okay, 16 we have a cube. Okay, they want us to find the volume, and they tell us that one side is x plus 5, another side is 3x plus 1, and then this is 6 inches. Now, something that we forgot to tell you is that the volume equals 480 inches cubed. So when you're doing volume, volume equals length times width times height. So we can multiply in any order. And now we know that the volume equals 480. Okay? I'm going to multiply those two first. 6 times x is 6x. 5 times 6 is 30. Okay? So now we're going to FOIL. We still have the 480. We get 18x squared plus 6x plus 90x plus 30. All right, so we're going to do two things. We're going to combine our like terms, and we're going to subtract the 480 to the other side. So when we do that, we get 18x squared plus 96x minus 450. Now, is there a number that goes into all of those? I know. It's a very high, you're like, oh, Mr. Grace, I don't even want to think about it. There is. But how do we figure it out? Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Let's start small. You want to try three? So we get zero equals three, and that gives us six x squared. Three goes into 96, 32 times. And 3 goes into 450. Well, if you can't do it, let's go off to the side. 3 goes into 3 once. 1. Oh, I'm sorry. 15. Minus 1. 50. All right. Well, those are all even numbers, so there's a higher number that goes into it. Let's go with 6. Okay. The 6 comes out front, and we're left with 3x squared plus... Well, remember, if you can't do that, you should be going off to the side. 1 goes 1. Drop the 6. Oh, 16. We 
about 450. What goes in 7 times? What's it's 42. Oh, minus 75. Okay. <laughs> and all of that equals 0. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, we got to do the factors. Okay? So 3 times 75, 75 times 3, 5, carry the 1. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1, so 225. So 225. And we want numbers that add up to get to 16 and multiply to get to negative 225. So 1 and 225. 3 and let's see, 75. 5 and 45. 6, no. 7, no. 8, no. 9, I don't know, you guys using your multiplication charts? I'm actually going to pause the video right now, and I want to see if you guys can get the rest of this list, because I'm being way too nice by doing this for you. Okay? So pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so you should have gotten negative 9 and 25. All right? Now, from this point on, we still have to factor that, okay? And I'm going to go over here and do the box. So 3x squared minus 9x plus 25x minus 75, okay? The GCF of the top is 3x, of the bottom it's 25, of the left column it's just x, and on the bottom it's negative 9. So when you break that up, we're going to get 0 equals 6, x minus 9, and 3x plus 25. Okay? So go ahead and solve those for me. Okay? Pause the video, and good luck. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's not the GCF. Any of you guys yelling at me over there? Because you should. It's negative 3. Anyways. X minus 3 equals 0. 3X plus 25 equals 0. For this, should have gotten X equals 3. And X equals negative 25 over 3. You can't have a length that's negative. It's just not possible. Okay? So x is 3. The last part of this now is you need to add these up. You get 8. 3, 3 times 3 plus 1. You get 10. And so your lengths for this, which is the question that it asked at the very beginning, are the sides are 8 inches and 10 inches. Okay? Because we already know that the other one is 6. You gotta be careful when you're factoring, guys. If you do it too quick, like Mr. Grace, you're gonna make a mistake. Alright, number 17. We've got our triangle. It's a right triangle. And we know that the sides are 2x. x minus 1 and 2x plus 1. This is where we use the Pythagorean theorem. The a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You want to know what your two legs are, which are right here, and c. Okay? So, we've got 2x squared 
plus x minus 1 squared equals 2x plus 1 squared. Okay? So you're doing 2x times 2x, because that's what that breaks down to, plus yeah, x minus 1 times x minus 1 equaling, and then we got everything over there, which is 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Okay? I'm going to pause the video, and you guys are going to factor all of this yourself. All right? Good luck. Okay, that's everything when you factor. Now the next step is to combine your like terms. 5x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. I'm looking for the leading coefficient, which is going to be my 5x squared. So I'm going to get everything over to that side. That cancels minus 4x minus 1. Those cancel. And we get x squared minus 6x equals 0. Well, you have to factor out a GCF, which is the x. And we get x. x minus 6 equals 0. You set each one of those to 0. And we get 0 and 6. It can't be 0. So 6 is your answer. you got to go 2 times 6. 6 minus 1, and 2 times 6 plus 1, and then we're going to get our answer, which we're going to put right in here, that our side lengths are, what are they guys? 5, 12, and 13. Last one, number 18. Okay, 18 is telling us to solve the problem. Three questions, okay, and it tells us that the formula of h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 68t plus 60. Okay, so they're telling us that an object is thrown from a platform. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay? So question A is what is the initial height? Okay? We don't know the initial height, but we know at the very beginning, we know that no time has passed. So if no time has passed, we plug in a zero for the time. And those cancel, and we get h of 0 equals 60. So we know that this building, or the platform, is 60 feet up in the air. Okay? They want to know how long does it take for the object to reach a height of 120. So that's saying, hey, now the height is 120. Okay? So we're going to plug in 120 for the height, negative 16t squared plus 68t plus 60. Okay, so we want to get everything to one side because our leading coefficient is negative. Okay, so we're going to add 16t to both sides. We're going to subtract the 68t and subtract the 60. So now we get 16t squared minus 68t plus 60 equals 0. Now we factor. Okay. We're going to take out the GCF. What's the GCF going to be? 
think it's four. Let's find out. So the four comes out front, and we get four t squared. Let's see, four goes into that one, and you're left with 20. This is what I'm doing in my head. So it goes in there one time, 28. Well, hey, that's 17. So 17. And then 60 is goes into 1, 4, and it's 20, so that's 5. Sorry, guys, I don't have a multiplication chart in front of me. You guys should. Okay? So, we need to factor that out. I'm going to move it over to the other side because we have all this pretty space. And I'm going to let you guys do this. So, pause the video, and good luck. So, guys, this is what you should have gotten when you factored it. All right, you need to be able to do all of that work on your side. And now we're solving it, and we get 4t equals 5. So, t equals 5 over 4 and t equals 3. The key thing that both of these are in seconds. Okay? All right. Last part. C. How long does it take for the object to hit the ground? So when it hits the ground, that means my height is 0. So let's go for this. Oh, here we go. Let's get the right marker out. So 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 68t plus 60. Now, Ms. Kranz has said, well, we could factor everything over or move everything to the other side, or we can just take out the GCF of negative 4. And then we're left with 4t squared minus 20, oh, not 22. One. Oh, we just did this on the other side. 68 was 17. 17t, and then 60 would have been 15. Okay, and now you need to factor this. So, good luck, guys. Hopefully you kept some of your work, because you can still use all of this. Okay. Good luck. Okay, so you should have gotten 3 and negative 20. And now that's going to be the next thing that you break down and factor. Okay, so pause the video and break that down and factor it into the two binomials. Okay, so there's some of my work right there to how I factored it. And then everything with the t, we're going to set equal to 0. 4t equals negative 3, t equals negative 3 over 4. Well, uh, sorry guys, can't have a negative. And then t equals 5. So it would take that object 5 seconds to reach the ground. Well, that's it for Algebra 2 Unit 7 Review. I'd like to wish you good luck on the test, and if you have any questions, please come see Ms. Kranzer or myself before you take it, which means first thing in the morning or after school. So, best of luck. Thanks for watching.